I've been sharing in my stories that Saint is having a big end of the summer sale all next week and there's lots of things in it and they range from 20% up to 50% off. All kinds of um, eyeshadows, brushes, palettes, lots of things. So I asked you what you wanted to see more of and a lot of you wanted to see more about the brushes that are on sale and the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna do some makeup and I will show you a few more extra things that are some of my favorite products too. Out of the brushes that are on sale for face makeup, I would say these three are the ones that I would use the most for application. And that is the buff brush, which is a full coverage brush. And then you've got the powder brush and the shape brush. The powder brush can obviously be used for powder, but you can also use it for your foundation. So I thought I would show you how you can apply it. Um, I'll do half of my face with this one, and then I'll do half with the shape brush. And then I'm gonna do, I think, my contour with this one. <laughs> so you can just see, but you can play around. They all have different ends. So you can see um, which one you may prefer for your application. I would say the shape brush is more of a light coverage. And then, like I said, full coverage for the buff brush. Powder brush is probably more of a medium coverage. I chatted away through the rest of this video, not even realizing that the audio stopped working. So here we are doing a voiceover. <laughs> So I took the buff brush, this is that full coverage brush, and I'm dipping it into my contour. I'm using that smaller side, and I'm just running it along my cheekbones and around my forehead. It's got that angled side of the brush, so it's really good for precision. And then I'm gonna take it under my chin a little bit, but I really love this brush for good precision and full coverage. And that's all I'm, all I'm gonna do with this one. I'm gonna go to that powder brush, and we're gonna do uh, half of the face with um, this brush and then we'll switch to the other one. So this has kind of those blunt um, tips, but they're still a little bit soft. So this gives a nice medium coverage. And then you've got that tapered end, which I love to use to press powder in if I need it. So I'm just going to go in with that bottom side to get my main foundation color and do half of my face with it. So I just tap it in like usual and then I'll just go in and kind of press it all over um, my skin and I'm just working it around those contour areas. So we're trying to keep this in one layer as best as possible. So just kind of along the cheeks um, where I need that extra coverage and then a little bit on the forehead and then underneath where that contour is. And that's it. So I'm gonna put this one down and we're gonna switch to, uh, which one is this? Oh, this is the shape brush. Okay, this is that light coverage brush that I like. I'm gonna do the other half of my face with it. I'm using that big round dome side. And so I'm gonna apply this and then we're gonna go back and blend it a little bit more. But right now I'm really just putting and getting the makeup on the skin. So I go in and build as necessary, um, just doing a little bit at a time. A little goes a long way with these creams. Now we're gonna flip over to that smaller side and we're gonna do the brightening highlight. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this to put under my eyes and I'm gonna do kind of the center of my face. This is just, a this um, color is just a few shades lighter than my main color. And so it just gives a little extra brightening, kind of brings, draws that light into the face. So this brush has um, those soft uh, br bristles as well. So it's gonna help you give that nice light coverage as well. So I like to use this one on light coverage days. This is also another really good one for um, young teenagers. Um, so this one has a lot of options and it's a really good brush to blend with, with that big side. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going back with that bigger side and just kind of tapping and pressing and stamping to kind of um, blend the makeup into the skin and get that smooth finish. When it comes down to the foundation brushes, there are several different options, um, just kind of based on your preference. So you can kind of take a look and see which ones you might like to use based on the coverage that you might get or the actual shape of the brush, but a lot of them can do similar things. So there's no specific rules for any of them. Um, I'm going back and blending into that contour with this shape brush as well. This has just become one of my very favorites. Um, to use all the time. So I'm really glad that it's part of the sale as well. And if you ever have trouble blending, try letting your makeup sit on your skin for just a couple of minutes before you blend. Um, you can also get your setting spray and spray your uh, skin before you blend. That may help you as well. A lot of times it's going to depend on the climate that you're in. So if they feel a little bit cold and they're not blending, give those two things a try. 
I may go back over when I'm done, but we're gonna move on to some blush. But I think this has gotten pretty good and blended. So let's move on to, this is Wallflower and Pinky Promise. They are both part of the sale as well. I'm gonna use Wallflower on my cheeks. This one um, is a little bit more subtle. So it's just that perfect little uh, pinky peach color. So I went back to that buff brush and I'm using that uh, bigger side and I'm putting that on um, and blending it out with my blush there. So there you go, you can still blend with the buff brush. Um, it's just, I like the other brushes. I tend to gravitate towards those just cause it's just a little bit um, easier. But for something like blush, it's super simple. So Pinky Promise, it looks really crazy and bold, but a little bit goes a long way and it can be subtle. You can mix it with other colors. I'm actually gonna use some pink eyeshadow, so I think it'll be a good combo. I'm actually gonna go do my eyeshadow for another video and come back. Back from my eyeshadow. Don't worry, I will share the look with you here and tell you the colors that I use, but I did record the application as well. So this compact is on sale. This is one of the super nice deluxe compacts that we have. The standard ones are more of that chipboard material. So these are like really great for eyeshadows, but you can put any of your makeup in it. But I love that they have this really big mirror. So I was super excited to see these are on sale. This is the smaller size, and then there's one more that's bigger. And so they're both part of the sale. All these eyeshadows are in the sale as well. These are the eyeshadows that I use today. That is Claire. And then I also used Rigoletto, which is that darker color in the outer corner. And then I used Sis, which is that kind of a, a pink shimmer. And then I also used um, another, it's actually an illuminator. It's a powder illuminator and it's glamazing. It's also part of the sale, but you can double it as an eyeshadow. And so I used it in the inner corner to give like an extra pop of brightness. I'll swatch it here so you can kind of see what it looks like, but a little goes along with a little goes a long way with these powder illuminators as well. So we're gonna take the tiniest amount of this powder to put on the top of my cheeks. I'm actually gonna use the wash brush. This is another light coverage brush and it has those loose bristles. So perfect for picking up just a little bit of product. And then I'm just lightly tapping it onto the top of my cheeks and you can already see that shimmer there. Typically I use more of the cream illuminators, but if you want some extra glittery shimmer, this is the way to go. So every now and then I'll bust this out, but very pretty. And like I said, you can use it as eyeshadow as well. Now I'm gonna see if I can name all of these eyeshadows in here for you so you can get a better idea of what they look like. So this one is As You Wish. This one I'm going to swatch because it looks a little different from that tint. It looks more yellowy just from looking in the camera, but it actually has this holographic look. So it has almost a little bit of that pinkish, purplish, purplish, um, like iridescence, I guess you could say. So very, very pretty color. I love that one on the lid or to like brighten the inner corner. So that one is as you wish. And then we're gonna go with, what we got next? Um, okay, that is Crush. That is a light orange shimmer. Ginger is next. That one is a really pretty like coppery shimmer. And then this one is Leo. This one is a matte. And Holly, this one's also a matte. This is Miha, Here, Cranberry. This one is Tawanda. This is another one that has like, it's almost like a pink and goldish type shimmer. Very pretty. This is Sis. That's the one I have on. This is Gigi. And then we've got Ken as if. This one is Junior Prom. And then you've got Emerald City. And then this is Rigoletto, Stardust. And then these two, I actually have another video that I've used both of these on for a smoky look. Very pretty. And I also have Rigoletto on right now. Um, okay, the next one is gonna be Snowbird. That one took me a second to remember. <laughs> and then the last, or the next one is You Complete Me, which this one is, uh, I'll say the last one is Hot Chocolate, sorry. Okay, so You Complete Me is another one that you may not um, can see what it actually looks like, but it's kind of a dark coral type shimmer. Very pretty, lots of pretty shimmers in the cell. And then there's also several matte ones as well. And then there's more than what is in my compact. So besides eyeshadows, there are more palettes besides these. There are actually the chipboard ones. They have them in multiple sizes that are for sale. 
there are like really large ones that are really good for storing extra collections. So if you have a small palette that you like to keep your day-to-day -day makeup in, but then you have other colors and eyeshadows that you like to swap out, you can keep those in those really large palettes. And then you can just pull as needed so you can keep all your makeup clean and tucked away until you need it. I wanted to go back through the brushes because there are more than just the ones that I used that are part of the cell. So I used these three um, for my makeup application that you saw me do. And then the uh, remaining ones, there are a mix of some demi, demi brushes and then a few other smaller brushes. So there's a couple of them that look similar. This is the blend brush. And then you have the wash brush that I use for my illuminator. They're very, very similar. Both, I would say, light coverage, good for light coverage or a new makeup wearer, preteen. If I was going to pick one of the two, I would probably pick the blend brush just because I like the smaller, uh, more rounded dome shape on that smaller side. But you really can't go wrong with either one of these. Both excellent brushes. Moving on to the smaller brushes, this is the blur brush. I actually use this for my eyeshadow that I have on. It is very similar to the eyeshadow brush, which this side is, this fluffy side. And then the other side is also a smudgy side, but it's larger than the eyeshadow one. So if you need that smaller smudge, I would probably still get the eyeshadow one, but this one can still do a great job if you're looking to get something on sale um, to do eyeshadow. Next up is the line brush. This is what I use for my eyebrows. It has this small angled side that is perfect for filling in those little brow strokes. Um, so I dip it into a contour color and then use the spoolie in to brush my brows. The last two are Demi brushes that I love for the actual Demi correctors. When you're using the Demi colors, you want a really small brush because you only want to put the product directly on the area you're trying to correct. So these both have that really small tip. I love this one for more like blemishes, really tiny areas. And this is the spot brush. And then this other one is the bright brush. And it has a little bit larger end that I use more of, I would say probably like my under eyes. I just use it to kind of smooth out a little bit there. And then both of them have um, a bigger side that you can use to flip over and kind of blend out those demi colors a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> but both of these are excellent for applying your demi colors. Lastly, actually, no, this is not last. So this little thing right here is the brush cleaning tile. This pops in your compact just like your eyeshadows do. And I always keep one in with my eyeshadows because you can take your brush and swipe it in between colors. So if you're going from dark to light or mixing a lot of colors, this will help take off any of that excess product that's left on your brush. I was really excited to see these in the sale. These are a travel uh, set of a brush cleaning spray and the setting spray. And they're so cute and little. I'm gonna get my uh, regular size one to show you in comparison. That's the regular size brush cleaner and then the small one. So this is the dry brush cleaner that you use to clean your brushes and then you can use them immediately. There's no drying time needed. The other great benefit to these travel sizes is you can refill them. So once you use them up, you don't have to order another set. You can refill from your big bottle. So then you've got everything TSA approved. And then it also comes in a cute little box. So this makes a really good gift option if you know someone who loves Saint or just loves makeup in general, because it can be used with any makeup. It's just brush cleaner and setting spray, but super cute gift. So this is just some highlights of some of my favorite things that are part of the sale, but there's a lot more that will be in there as well. It's gonna run from August 21st through August 25th, and the products will range from 20 to 50% off. The sale will run all week, but everything is while supplies last. So once something goes, it will most likely not be restocked during the sale. If you don't have the makeup yet, but you want to take advantage of the sale and add some things to your collection along with your main colors, we can get you color matched. I have a simple form, it's in my profile. You just click on my profile and click the link and it says color match form. And it's just something simple to fill out to let me know what you are interested in, your makeup preferences, and then I will match you to your colors and build your palette and send all of that to you. That way you can get everything at once with your brushes and any of these sale items that you wanna grab as well. I'm also putting a highlight bubble on my profile page so you can go there and see any of the stories that I have shared with more graphics of the sale stuff. I also have a uh, little uh, catalog, if you will, that has more details of all the sale products. So you can also get access to that through that highlight bubble as well. Any other questions, just drop them below.